Welcome to the voice of St. Anthony Parish from Alston, Massachusetts, right here on WROL 950 AM 100.3 FM. And you can also hear us at CatholicAudioMedia.com. That's CatholicAudioMedia.com. We can check out our podcasts. You can also see our Substack newsletter. You can also give us feedback. You can donate to the show if you want. And you'll find the address on where if you'd like to attend Mass, if you're in the Boston area, right here at St. Anthony Parish in Alston, Massachusetts, where you have a standing invitation to the 10 o'clock a.m. Mass. Well, today's Gospel is where Jesus says to Peter, Upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. And oftentimes that phrase is misunderstood. So we're going to look at today what that actually means and what it means for us today. So we're going to switch over to the 10 o'clock a.m. Mass at St. Anthony Parish in Alston, Massachusetts. Today's gospel is very well known. It's, and it's where, of course, Jesus says to Peter um, that on this rock I will build my church. He also makes it clear that he is working on divine inspiration, divine um, information, because he, he has learned this through the Lord giving him this wisdom. And remember, that's part of who we are as Catholics. We live on divine wisdom, not just human wisdom. But he makes an interesting statement in this that is often misinterpreted, misunderstood. He says, the gates of hell will not prevail against the church. And here it's netherworld, but we know the uh, original phrase is gates of hell. And one of the things that people think that to mean is that hell is going to make all these attacks on the church, but the church will survive. But gates are defensive weapons. They're not offensive weapons. So in that sentence, who is doing the attacking? And is the church to bring down the gates of hell and those things that destroy people. And if we look at that in the history of salvation, the people in Egypt are praying to the Lord to free them from the slavery that is coming out of the Pharisee, or the, uh, sorry, the Pharaohs. And who responds? The Lord by attacking through the plagues the Egyptian gods. It's one of the things Dennis Prager says. Each one of those plagues represented an Egyptian god. And the ultimate god in Egypt was a lamb. So this was God making it very clear, I am God and no one else. And so who's doing the attacking there? God is. And if we see that in other places, we can see that God is making it clear that there is only one God, there are no other gods, and that he is the ultimate in truth and wisdom because he is the source of wisdom and truth and goodness, and therefore anything that gets in the way he will push aside. And we see that throughout the Old Testament in various ways. And so we look at that, we see this power of the Lord and we see the Lord reaching out and saying, I will free you from all those things that oppress you and the gates of hell will not have any power because we will take them down. So an interesting question that pops up is why do so many people live in terror that they will end up in hell? I don't know if you've met these people, but they're out there. And every priest has had confessions, fortunately I haven't had any here, where people have said, I'm living in terror that I'm going to end up in hell. And, but the gates of hell will not prevail against the power of the church working against it. And as long as we seek to be part of the kingdom of God and we follow the Lord and we join into his kingdom and we join and be faithful to him, that's not something we should be concerned about. That's what we're all about, because what we actually stand for is we are part of the kingdom. We are ambassadors of the kingdom, as St. Paul says, of breaking down those forces that seek to destroy humanity. So we are there. And this isn't, um, and these aren't physical forces, these are spiritual forces. I was in the Philippines in the Navy when the Iranian hostage crisis broke out, and I was on a repair ship. And so, 
we were given the orders, everything that, that needed to be repaired on that ship, which was belonged to other, uh, other ships, had to be off the ship back at there had to be repaired and off the ship in 12 hours. Because in 12 hours, every ship in the Philippines, and along with all other parts of the world, were heading out to the Persian Gulf. And we alone were the ones remaining. Now, I don't know if you know this about how the Navy works, but aircraft carriers, when they are in port, do not have their planes on them. They fly off to a naval air station. So the following day, after they pull out of port, the planes head out to the aircraft carriers. And so we were there looking up and watching, almost like an air show, because off would come all these jets, these fighter jets would come off from QB Point, do a little loop-to-loop, -loop, and bam, right out to, I think it was the Kitty Hawk. And we watched that for about an hour, all these planes going out there. And what were they doing? They were getting ready to show the American power and protecting American interests in the Persian Gulf. You talk to the saints, well, listen to the saints, obviously don't talk, but talk, listen to the saints. You hear bishops talking about there, you have many people in the church say that, say that we have a spiritual form of that power at our disposal at all times. To reach out to the Lord, to reach out to the angels and saints, and tell, uh, tell them to help us in the most difficult of circumstances, and they are there. Just as powerful on a spiritual level as what we saw in the Philippines. And so when we understand that, we recognize then why are there people saying that they're living in terror of going to hell? Well, one of the reasons is there are people that are teaching this. And there, is, there are some, um, some aspects of the church of people who are drawing themselves from some form of teaching that may have been inaccurate and from the past that would teach that, um, that what they call the Masa Damnata. What the Masa Damnata is, is the vast majority of people are going to hell and you have a low chance of getting into heaven. It's not Catholic teaching, never has been, never will be. As a matter of fact, what the Catholic Church actually teaches is those people who will go to hell are totally obstinate to the very end. Meanwhile, God's grace is reaching out even a more stronger to try to break down that obstinacy. That's what the Catholic Church actually teaches. It says right there, the gates of hell will not prevail against the church. And so our mission, when we come here, our mission to be people of prayer, our mission to be people who are rooted in Christ, who are, are prayerful families, prayerful people, prayerful church, are people to say the power of God, as Jesus says, is in your midst, and the gates of hell has no strength over it. And that is our call. And this is what Jesus said to Peter. So keep that in mind. We have that power that is given to us by the Lord to testify and witness to the reality that the kingdom of God has arrived. You're listening to the voice of St. Anthony Parish, Malls in Massachusetts, right here on WROL, 950 AM, 100.3 FM. And you can also hear us at CatholicAudioMedia.com. That's CatholicAudioMedia.com. We'll be right back right after this. Don't forget to tell others where they can find our program. You can hear us on WROL 950 AM and WROLradio.com at 3 p.m. Eastern Time, Monday through Friday. We then podcast the program on your favorite podcast platform and at catholicaudiomedia.com. That's catholicaudiomedia.com. You can also hear us at our parish website, St. That's S-T, AnthonyAlston.org. That is SaintAnthonyAlston.org. Let others know where you can find us and spread the word about the Catholic Audio Media podcast. We're back and uh, we're here and talking about that powerful reality that, in fact, the kingdom of God has its own power in the Lord, through the Lord, and the aim of the kingdom of God is to fulfill God's will. And part of God's will is that all are saved. So our role is to lead people to come to salvation. And if you have people who are terrified they're going to hell, especially, by the way, if the reason why they're going to church is they're terrified they're going to hell. The saints always said that was the lowest form of devotion. 
And they, they really didn't believe it was a very strong form. And really, the ultimate thing that leads us to draw closer to Christ and to see Christ is, in fact, by growing in our love of God and growing in our desire for others to experience the love of God. That's where it is. If it is rooted in fear, then that's not going to have very strong roots. And that's not what we are all about. And if you really study the faith, which obviously I do, you realize that God does everything he can to get people into heaven. So it really, as the church teaches, as I preached in the homily, it is really understanding that the Lord is doing everything he can to lead people to eternal life. So how is it that you have these people communicating this message that God is ready to cast you into hell at any moment. This reminds me a lot of the sermon that was delivered um, several centuries ago here in Massachusetts, Northampton, Massachusetts, which is on the other side of the state from where I am right now. Sinners in the Hands of an Angry God by Reverend Jonathan Livingston. But that, I believe, was a Congregationalist homily. This wasn't a Catholic homily. That's not what we believe. We'll see you tomorrow. I want to call your attention to Catholic TV, which offers great faith-filled, family-friendly programming 24 hours a day. You can find your cable channel at www.getcatholictv.com. And you can watch online on the free apps or check out the YouTube channel. Daily Mass, Rosaries, the Divine Mercy Chaplet, and the Our Lady of Perpetual Help Novena are all available online and on demand. Check out catholictv.com. If you would like to support our program, please consider a donation to St. Anthony Parish in Alston, Massachusetts. There are several ways to consider this. One is to purchase any of our merchandise, which you can find at the shopping tab at catholicaudiomedia.com. That's catholicaudiomedia.com. There are coffee mugs there. There's also my latest book, Encounter Christ in Your Humanity, all of which you can find at the shopping tab at catholicaudiomedia.com. You can also donate to the show directly through either the Donate tab, also at catholicaudiomedia.com, or by sending a donation through the U.S. Postal Service with your questions and comments at 43 Holton Street, Alston, Massachusetts, 02134. That's St. Anthony Parish, 43 Holton Street, Alston, Massachusetts, 02134. Finally, the best way you can support our parish is to attend Mass on Sundays at 10 o'clock and be a part of our parish. We thank you for any support you would like to give to St. Anthony Parish in Alston, Massachusetts, the sponsoring parish for this media outreach to Catholics and other Christians in the WROL, WEZE, and podcast listening audience. In Cristo vivimos.